Hello, welcome to another video by JT Swaps RC Video. So we're out today, our second week running, we're breaking in a new Nitro engine. Now last week we broke in the engine of the 18 sized Kyosho 1.8 scale DBX buggy. And today we're out with this one, uh, the 1 tenth scale uh, truck. Have a look here. This is the one that I actually rebuilt and fitted the Vertex 18 engine. Uh, you might remember a few weeks ago we actually did the first start tutorial, how to start this one for the first time. And today we're going to be breaking in the engine. And I'm going to run through in this tutorial or how to break in your nitro engine. So first thing you need to do is of course make sure you've got eight AA sized fully charged batteries inside the radio. Make sure you've got the green and the red LEDs on there. That just confirms that you've got good power. Then turn on uh, your receiver and just check of course as usual that the steering uh, directions are correct. So left is left and of course right is right. And of course just check the throttle movements as well. When you're opening the carburetor, the carb is opening and closing, of course, the carburetor is closing. Now, next thing I'm going to do is just check that we've got a throttle opening gap of one millimeter. So here's your opening gap. As you can see, this one's actually a little bit high, so I'm just going to um, adjust that. This is your carburetor opening gap just in here. Now, if you have a close look in there, you can see it's about 1.5 millimeters open. Now, of course, if the opening gap is uh, too large, then when you start up the engine, the wheels will spin very, very fast. Uh, if you um, have the idle gap too low or too uh, little, then of course what's going to happen is you're going to really struggle to get the engine started without applying some throttle. Okay, so this engine now is using a drill start and we're going to do the five tank standard brake braking procedure. We've already done, done tank number one. Tank number one, you just let the engine sing running rich for one full fuel tank. We're now going to do tank two. Tank two is slow driving in figure of eight circles. So first thing you need to do is of course fill up the tank. Okay. As always, don't fill up the tank all the way. You want to leave a little bit of room at the bottom just for air. Now you need to prime the engine. Now to prime the engine, if you just uh, obviously set up your drill start, insert it into the rear. Now. Using a drill start, the engine is going to prime very, very quickly. Don't flood the engine. So, to prime the engine then, just block the exhaust and then use the drill start until the fuel hits the carburetor. And do it a few more times just after that, just to get the fuel round and lubricate the engine. Okay, now you need to take your glow plug igniter. Here's my new LiPo glow plug igniter. Here's the old one, the old one just wore out, so I figured I'll just buy another one the same. So here's a brand new uh, Prolux Glow Igniter and using a separate um, LiPo battery, as you can see. Now I'm going to start up the engine, like I say, uh, tank two of the break-in process uh, is just a figure of eight circles using probably about a quarter throttle, just that much. process. Uh, since the uh, tank 2 I've just let the engine just sit there for a few minutes uh, just to cool itself off. Uh, what we're going to do now is move on to tank 3. Uh, so just to recap, tank 2 there was just slow driving a figure of 8 circles using no more than a quarter throttle. Uh, tank 3 now is slightly faster driving in figure of 8 circles using no more than half throttle. So what I'm going to do of course is just refill the tank and once again don't overfill the tank, just refill it sort of 3 quarters of the way. Obviously you don't need to uh, reprime the engine because of course the, uh, unless you've allowed the engine to run out of fuel then you obviously you don't need to reprime it. So pop your igniter back into uh, the engine there and restart the engine using the drill start. And now we'll do tank 3, slightly faster driving in figure of 8 circles. <laughs>
three. Uh, let's just recap once again. So tank two, uh, figure of eight driving in sort of like quarter of a throttle uh, figure of eight circles. Uh, tank number three, sort of half throttle, pumping the throttle to get the fuel round. Now we're on to tank number four. Once again, I'm going to let the engine sit there just, um, just to uh, just to cool off a little bit. Um, when when the engines are new, of course, uh, the internal parts are very tight and new, so the engine will run at a higher temperature uh, than if it were you know already running. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just uh, going to refill the tank once again. And of course on tank number four, it's a straight line driving in sort of half to three quarters throttle. So slowly accelerate up to half throttle, a little bit further and then just uh, come off the throttle. So slowly accelerate up and then release. Of course throughout this whole braking process the engine is of course running rich. Uh, you don't want to be running your engine lean at this stage and don't get too carried away with the uh, throttle at all because of course it's still a new engine and it still has a few tanks to go so be very careful don't go like accelerating up to full throttle or anything like that just yet <laughs> process we've just done tanks uh, two three four and five of course tank one we did last time I just let the engine sink for the full tank okay now now we're on tank number five tank number five it gets really exciting um, just accelerate slowly up to full throttle hold it there for a second and then release that's tank five now if you haven't already please richen out your high speed needle just to make sure there's plenty of fuel going in uh, that's very important at this stage uh, you don't want the engine running lean uh, at any stage of the braking process but now you're going to be giving it some gas especially you don't want it running lean so once again I'm going to refill the tank and in this tank tank 5 we're going to slowly accelerate up to full throttle make sure there's plenty of blue exhaust smoke coming out of the engine uh, check the engine temperature regularly if it gets really really hot then uh, just stop let the engine cool off for a few moments before you carry on the tank uh, once tank 5 is done your engine is broken in however it is still new so what I would say is um, leave the engine running rich for a few more tanks after that and just bash it lightly uh, but apart from that uh, let's start up the engine let's do tank 5 and then that is the braking procedure of this vertex 18 engine on this uh, 110 scale nitro truck uh, complete. <laughs> 